Well, it's hard to believe that 20 years have passed since we did Live and Local on the Gator. Every Friday night from 9 to 11 p.m., I got the chance to be on the radio with somebody who became one of my best friends in the world, Drew Schroeder, and we got to see some of the most incredible bands come into our studio and play acoustic for you guys many times before they would go out to places like Kelly Green's and so many others to play full on uh, for the masses. It was an amazing time. And then as we got into the show and the popularity took off, we had a chance to team up with, at the time, Insight Communications to put the radio show onto the TV side of it, something you see all the time now. But 20 years ago, this was pretty cutting edge stuff. There was no social media, there was no YouTube. We still had dial up internet at, at the radio station. But we pulled together with some very, very talented people that you'll see in the credits at the end and to bring the local music scene to you guys in the most intimate and personal way that we ever have. Acoustic broken down and across both radio and TV airwaves here in Southern Kentucky. Enjoy the trips down memory lane as we get a chance to rebroadcast some of these TV episodes from Live and Local. They were live on the radio at the same time. Hope you guys enjoy them. It's hard to believe 20 years ago it was Live and Local on the Gator. Enjoy it right now. Coming to you live from the Gator 107.1 Studio B in Midtown Plaza, it's Live and Local, brought to you by Bell South Mobility. Bands you followed and loved, playing live and answering your questions. It's Bowling Green at South Central Kentucky's only locally based music show. It's Live and Local, and it's coming to you now on the Gator 107.1. back part two of anthony's last night with live and local yes we'll be hearing this one uh, a week after of course the trucker the whole thing we got our we changed shirts and everything yeah. look at this Whew, wardrobe, wardrobe change, change. <laughs> beautiful yeah. thing we're doing the second half of the show and we'd like to welcome back good friend of uh, live and local we honestly could not have gotten this thing uh kicked off without him pat haney is here pat welcome back man well thank you Hey, we've missed you. Oh, I've missed you guys. <laughs> oh, come Is on. Is that when you change clothes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. You know, we got to be professional about it all. Oh, I know. I only have two shirts, so I don't want yeah. people to see it. I'm going to do laundry tomorrow. Like, all my clothes are dirty now. Exactly. Now, uh, Pat Haney has been, you've been out, you know, doing the touring thing, everything. We're very excited. Wrong Rite of Passage, the new CD has been getting great publicity and uh, great reviews. It's got to be uh, such a great feeling for you. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. It, it, uh, uh, it's kind of an unexpected pleasure. You know, I, uh, I'm always uh, my own worst critic. You know, it kind of freaks me out. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm real happy about it. You know, I couldn't believe it. You know, the first time the, the uh, reviews started coming in, I mean, nationwide and even uh, overseas, you know, there yeah. was... Uh, um, Kind of blew my mind, so uh, uh, I'm real tickled about it. It's great. I mean, nothing but congratulations from us. I know. And uh, Pat was the first person we had on the show way back yes. in April, was it? Now, here's an odd fact about Pat Haney and Live and Local. He did our first show. He did our first show after our first best of show. He did our first show after our second best of show. And now he's doing my last show. Oh, oh man. See, yeah. how am I going to remember this stuff like that? <laughs> what am I going to do without him? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> and I was watching him. He didn't have that stuff written down either. It's just, I, it's just, I'm, I'm a trap, man. It's like he's still trapped. We, he's the rain man. We really I have we like, call him rain man. I have three good brain cells left, and I use them, and just use them and use them and use them. You use yeah. them. Well. <laughs> you <laughs> definitely do. Pat, introduce the people you have with you, if you get real quick. Come on. I can't do it real quick. No, no. <laughs> I, I know. <laughs> These guys have been, you know, doing it, and we've seen them. Man, I'm telling you, uh, over here to my right, uh, on the Dobro, is like, internationally renowned Curtis Birch. I mean, this guy has influenced you, and you don't even know it. Wow. I mean, he is amazing. He really is. Founding member of Newgrass Revival, Grammy Award-winning Dobro player. This guy has played with so many fucking pe people that you don't even know. Uh, he's really, really great. Uh, tickled to have him with us, you know, and he... I guess we'll make him a well redneck for the night. <laughs> He's an official. Curtis Birch over here. Honorary well redneck. Welcome, Curtis. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, 
to my left is my great friend, uh, Paul McCoy. He studied over in uh, Vienna. He uh, uh, is a great bass player, a great jazz bass player. That's when I really came to know uh, how great a musician he was, you know, when I saw him in, the, in a jazz band playing around here locally. Paul McCoy is just unbelievable. It's so good to have him with me. So. Welcome, Paul. Definitely. Thanks for coming by. We need to, uh, if we can, I want you all to see if you can set it up. We'll call Osborne at the gas station. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Call him at the gas station, get him on the air, and ask him what the uh, winning pick three number is. Like we'll do it. We'll, we'll do, do it. That. If you the, can set that up, break. that'll really yes. mess him up. We'll do it here in a <laughs> sec. Yeah, but, unfortunately, we, because we know Todd was looking forward to coming and everything, you know, yeah. and he's definitely a, a big member of the Well Rednecks. Oh, yeah. And he had to work. Yeah, he had to work, but... Uh, uh, are you are you not paying your well rednecks enough for the <laughs> well <laughs> come back and work at the gas station? Come on, you know Todd's like a <clears throat> we call him the international man of leisure. I mean it, he uh, <laughs> he does whatever he wants to do, and and it's like uh, you know if he shows up to play, that's good, and if he uh, doesn't, he's laid up on his head somewhere. So what a great title! Man, I want, I want a title like that. Leisure. Yeah, <laughs> but y'all need to try to call him at the gas station. I'll give you a number when we go to a commercial break. <laughs> We definitely will. Now, you're back in town. You're going to be playing uh, tomorrow night. Yeah, we're doing uh, tomorrow at the Phoenix Theater uh, on uh, Chestnut Street. Uh, it's uh, probably the second. Yeah, it's the second show we've done there. Uh, last show sold out. It was really good. Uh, it's a great place to uh, to play and also to uh, listen to music. We're trying to get that venue uh, opened up to more uh, uh, musicians. You know, it, it's, uh, it's a beautiful uh, seating. Environment yeah. and everything, and, and uh, it, it's really nice. So, uh, uh, it it's getting close to uh, uh, selling out uh, right now. So, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, I mean, if you want to come tomorrow night, uh, a lot of the money goes to help uh, the theater. And uh, uh, so, if you want to go, you know, call them and, and uh, reserve some tickets. So, it, it starts, you know, I think they'll open up about 7 30, but the uh, show starts at 8. Uh, with Jim Buchanan opening up for me. Jim Buchanan's a local songwriter who's, in my opinion, a genius. He's one of the best songwriters I've ever, uh, ever met. Really? And never been associated with, yeah. So. And they've done a great job with just the outside and everything. I mean, oh, yeah, it really put, does. They've put a lot of work into it, and, and uh, I think everybody will be surprised, you know, and, and uh, enjoy it, you know, if they come out tomorrow. So, so oh. that's what we're doing. I'm sure they will. Uh, it's nice to have you back in town. We'll talk about the whole, you know, the whole tour and the whole swing and, of course, the CD. But are you guys ready to do a tune here? Yeah, we'll do, uh, let's do the title track, The Wrong Rite of Passage. It's let's song. do it. Here they are. Pat Haney, along with Curtis Birch, Paul McCoy on the Gator 107.1's Live and Local. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Sixteen years, and I was working hard. They had the engine of a GTO spread out in the yard. And Daddy walked by, he said that car will never run. I put a greasy fist in his weathered face, and I laid him out in the sun. Highway 40 ain't no place to be. When you're down to your last sin Got in the tar, ah, you can folk And the devil's your best friend Well, me and a wife fell on me When I crossed the Tennessee line I killed a boy in Memphis He was drunk on that red wine never sleeps, but I do, so I laid out in the yard. Highway 40 ain't no place to be when you're down to your last sin. Cotton and tar, I you can't fold. And the devil's your best friend
said, boy, don't go into them woods. They eat alive, little kids that don't act the way they should. Well, he walked away, and I walked through them trees. I stayed gone the rest of the night. There weren't no fear in me. There weren't no fear in me. I went for it, ain't no place to be. I went you down to your last sin. Cotton and tar are your kinfolk And the devil's your best friend Wow, go, it's that Haney Title track of his new album, yes. Wrong Rite Ooh. of Passage. That is Curtis great. Birch on the dope Birch. Curtis Birch, too. Yeah, without a doubt, Paul McCoy on bass. I told you. I'll tell you what, Pat. When, when you Pat pick don't him, lie. No, when you pick him to come in, he doesn't mess around. Pat's got good friends around this area. No, this is actually uh, Curtis Birch's uh, second trip in here. He was here a couple weeks ago with yeah. Curtis Matthews, so... He's getting used to us now. <laughs> he knows the drill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he does. He's becoming an old pro of this, without a doubt. <laughs> well, we're going to take a quick break here. Going to come back. We've got so much stuff to talk to Pat about. Yes. Of course, he's been out touring in the support of his uh, Wrong Rite of Passage album. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that and uh, growing up here in Kentucky. It's live and local on the Gator 1071. 31 days, 346 movies. Every one an Academy Award winner or nominee. Outstanding craftsmanship. Incredible performances. Every hour of every day in March. The greatest movies in Hollywood history. The greatest month in television history. 31 Days of Oscar on Turner Classic Movies. Welcome back. It's live and local, brought yes. to you by Singular Wireless. With Singular Wireless, you can have all your wireless stuff you need. There you go. Also, infinitysedge.com, they do our website, liveandlocal.org. They do. Wireless. Go there. You can get downloads, all that good stuff. Uh, also, links to all the bands that we have in this area, whoever's got websites. It's a perfect place to go, liveandlocal.org. Thanks to Papa John's for bringing us tons of free pizza. Barry and Jennifer at the 31W uh, Papa John's hook us up every uh, Friday night. When we have these TV specials, and we really appreciate their help. Big props to them. And Celebrations Party Shop. Who... Dressing Beavis up like a fool. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it gets expensive. We were trying to do it on our own, but that's it gets expensive. And uh, they hooked us up. They got tons of stuff out there. They even got bubble machines and, like, you know, strobe lights. And if you want any kind of, you know, cool parties, whether it's by yourself or with a whole bunch of people, <laughs> go get some strobe lights. <laughs> that Haney in the house with yes. Curtis Birch and Paul McCoy. So happy to have Pat Haney back. Oh, uh, without a yes. doubt. And uh, now we, we've got uh, one of your well rednecks on the line who couldn't make it with us tonight. Todd? How's it going, man? What's up, brother? <laughs> Todd Osborne on the line. He's working. Are you still working, man? Yeah, closing up the shop. Hey, what was the pick three number tonight, Todd? <laughs> oh, hold on a second. Let me check it out, man. <laughs> six, six, six. Oh, yeah, right. oh. <laughs> now, now, Todd, you knew you were coming in here. How did you knock it off? Uh, I don't know how it worked out, man. Oh, you still want to hang out Did they do a good with job without me? Uh, they're, yeah, they're doing a good job. Oh, it's yeah. rough. That is rough. We miss you, man. I told him you were the international man of leisure. I thought it was mystery. Well, no, no, that's Austin Powers. Or somebody, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that you don't have near enough chest hair for that time. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got three. Hey, that's not bad. Not bad at all. He watches them. Now, now, Todd, let me ask you. You've been out touring with uh, Pat and everything. Uh huh. Is he not paying you guys enough? Why Why do you got to work at uh, at the BP when you come home? Not that there's anything wrong with the BP, but, man, you should be lounging around, enjoying uh, yourself when you have some I'm time off. Them, I'm just one of them working stiff. <laughs> come on, you can tell us. He doesn't pay you enough, does he? Oh, uh, yeah, he takes good care of <laughs> <laughs> I thought he would. A lot of extra benefits. I definitely <laughs> thought he would. Well, <laughs> Todd, we wish you could be in here. We really do. Yeah, me too. Are they done playing? No, they're going to be going for another, like, 40 minutes. I think they ought to play Katie Daly for me. Oh, Lord. We hadn't planned on doing that one, Todd. <laughs> really? Yeah. All right, man. Way to go, Todd. What about Dirty Me, Dirty Me, I'm Disgusted with Myself? How about a uh, Jim Buchanan tune? Uh, I could 
figure something like that out. Uh, no, I'm going to wait on Jim Buchanan. I'm going to let him play it for everybody tomorrow night. I thought he played one of those dirty ones. No. <laughs> well, I might as well the way I've been going. Just once. All right, what'd you say on the radio? No, I mean, you know how I am. Todd's been with me in Texas, and it's like I even had the DJs cussing. In Texas. <laughs> and it was like. So you were glad to be in their big city. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it's a nice city, Texas, you know. And then it was a country. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We had a good time. I'm sure you got a lot of good stories, huh, Todd, being on the road and everything. Yeah, it's a good time picking with those boys. Yeah, real quick, do you got, do you got a favorite story that uh, that you guys have kind of uh, fallen into? Uh, nothing I could tell on the radio. All right, well, tell <laughs> us. <laughs> follow us the rail like an albatross. <laughs> <laughs> tell us in private, all right? All right, I'll do that. All right, Todd, thanks a lot, man. We wish you could be here. All right, man, you all take care. See you, buddy. Good one. There you go, Todd Osborne with the world for the next. <laughs> Working hard tonight, closing up shop. Didn't he though? Oh yeah, he always is. Always. Now, uh, what are taps? What are some of the places that you've uh, that you've hit here recently? Uh, like around the country? Yeah, around the country, just uh, yeah. supporting the new CD and everything. Oh man, we we've really hit Texas real hard. Man. Have you? We've been in and out of Texas. Uh, uh, shoot, maybe four or five times. Uh, been out, you know, California, Seattle. Seattle was a really good place for us. You know, they, they we were real real. We were received in Seattle and uh, Northern California, and uh, not even going to get into L.A. Some old lady tried to sell us like these little angels <laughs> but, uh, that had perfume in them. Really? You still got yours? I still got mine. Mine that, broke. That wasn't perfume. But, uh, <laughs> it may not have been. If it was L.A., I'm sure it wasn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, we've been to New Mexico, uh, uh, Montana, Colorado, you know, just everywhere. So uh, wow, it's got to be great. You must be in just really enjoying yourself. Oh, that's pretty fun. I mean, it's like yeah. you don't get to really hang out. You know, uh, you just play and leave and go to the next city. So yeah. you don't really have a uh, whole lot of time to hang out and uh, check everything out. But uh, it's nice though. It's fun. Well, let's do uh, another tune here, and uh, we'll talk about some of your favorite places that you've been and uh, least favorite, and get into all that. Well, but... I'll tell you what. How Todd, Todd Osborne uh, rode the bull. Down in Dallas. Oh, really? Yeah, that's a great story. I'll tell you that after the song. All right. <laughs> Which one are you doing here? Uh, this is uh, Licks. It's uh, short for Derelict. Oh, I remember this one. Good oh, song. yeah. Let's do it. Pat Haney on the Gator, 1071. Well, Johnny pulled his boots on. They fit him just like skin Early summer June bug Was fighting with a scream A trailer swept from just getting up Rolled behind his ear Go get Tilly Go get us some beer She had on a calico dress It hung loose around her knees She watched an old barn cat Cut the life from a chicken snake She ain't able to eat a thing Since daddy ate his gun If I knew how Well I guess I'd just run
lights bounced off till his face And he thought he saw her smile Well maybe get some rain tonight I seen a ring around the moon She never really loved him much But it didn't seem to show Baby, I think it's time to go. on Dobro and Paul McCoy on bass. Man. Unbelievable. That room's getting some picking done in it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Now, uh, now, Paul, uh, you've got a different... Uh, usually everyone who comes in here has, you know, just got kind of their normal bass. What exactly kind of bass do you have there? This is just, um, this is just an acoustic bass. It's, um, it's played like an electric bass, not an upright, but um, it's just got a hollow body to it, and... That's basically it. It's got some nylon strings on it to give it sort of a deeper, upright sound. Oh, nice. But it's real handy, like, especially if you're doing a lot of road stuff and you want that acoustic, upright right. sound, but you don't want to lug the, the gigantic <laughs> yeah. box. It's usually bigger than your car. Yeah. So you can just put it in a case and throw it in the trunk, and there it is. And is, is that the one that you use uh, normally when you're touring with these uh, guys? Not normally. Most of the time I use my electric no, bass, uh, but this is good for radio stuff and... You know, some studio stuff and stuff like that. Now, speaking of this radio stuff, Pat, you you must be you're becoming a kind of an old pro at this. I mean, you've been hearing radio. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll just forget about that. Maybe I'm just too comfortable in front of the microphone. <laughs> that's possible. I mean, have you been hitting a lot of radio stations? Yeah, that's part of it. You know, is I mean, it? our uh, uh, booking agent, you know, is like really, really good at getting us uh, shows uh, and radio. Uh, spots, you know, at yeah. the same time. So uh, we'll go in, do a radio show, then do the show, you know, to kind of help promote it and everything. So uh, there's some really, really great radio stations around. You know, there's not uh, there's not that many, but it's getting a lot better. You know, I mean, it's like they'll play anything anymore. So which, yeah. which is really great. You know, uh, it's kind of hard to uh, make money that way, I guess. But uh, That's I true. mean, but but there's some great stations like K Fan out of Texas and uh, K P got in the Freedom, California. Now, what type of stations are they that you've been kind of hitting? Uh, are they Americana? Is that yeah, where they consider themselves? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're primarily formatted that way. Uh, some of them are public radio that yeah. have Americana uh, time slots, you know, and others are 24-hour, uh, uh, seven days a week Americana. So, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's really good to find. Do what? I thought you were X-rated. No, no. no. <laughs> X-rated radio. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're uh, uh, some really cool stuff going on out west, and eventually it'll make its way out this way. And y'all are right in the thick of it, so. Oh yeah, we're be part we're definitely it. working on it. So, do you see like the uh, the whole Americana, I guess, kind of music growing a little bit here? Uh, yeah, and, and I mean, it's like up? it's real big. A lot of these stations have a uh, uh, satellite internet uh, type feed. You know, yeah. they, they go you know worldwide on the internet, but uh, uh, on down the line, the big talk. Uh, I've been talking to a lot of like program directors and and uh, things like that across the country, and the big, the big buzz is satellite radio. It's like where, you know, you can get a satellite receiver, you know, in your right. car and like dial up K fan out oh, of Texas exactly. or K pig out of California. And it's like not have to worry about people that don't want, you know, that want to tell you what uh, you want, you know, <laughs> want to tell you what you got to hear. You know, it's like hell. You can just uh, that's 
put it on the station you want to listen to, you know, no matter where it is. That's and, a good and, point. Uh, that's shaking a lot of people up, and people are starting to wake up, you know, it's like, because it's coming. Bad for people like us. <laughs> <laughs> no, good for stuff uh, like this. You're not, yeah, well, that's true. Very true. Yeah, very true. But then in another part, you know, you can tune into a station from New York while I listen to Drew and Anthony. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. I mean, New Yorkers want to listen to little Kentucky fellas. I can, I can imagine. And uh, some of the things I want to talk about is, I guess, bringing how people receive you in different states. And ha have you kind of been labeled when they find out you're from Kentucky, or is it... I mean, do people have a, a certain kind of thought of people from Kentucky, and when you get there, it's completely changed? Or, um, you know, I mean, we've been really, really well received. You know, it's like people uh, um, are very gratified to hear like real music. I right, mean, that's what they call it. It's like this is real, as opposed to unreal <laughs> or fake. You know, uh, there have been a few run-ins. You know, yeah. uh, you know, Texas is a great state, but I mean, it's like if you're in Texas, it's like Texas, Texas, Texas. You know, it's like, God, they wear you out. You know? I mean, like, Texas is the best. You know? Oh, yeah. yeah. They do love themselves like, in Texas. I had a run in with a DJ down in Houston. You know, she was uh, introducing us, and then she found out we were from Kentucky, and she'd go, like, I'm sorry, you're from Kentucky. You know, I was like, well, shit. <laughs> I was like, God. Yeah. Well, that's like, hard. Well, you know, um, I can always move to Texas, but you'll be a damn idiot, I guess, the rest of your life. <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. I mean, you run into people like that. Okay? Oh, yeah. But most of the time, I swear, most of the time, uh, everybody's very, very nice and, and uh, really into the kind of music. So uh, That's great. We've had pretty much nothing but great experiences. That's great. Uh, well, let's get... I've got so many more questions to ask you about. Let's get another tune. Uh, you guys right. want to do another one here? Yeah, we'll do... Uh, won't be over no coal. Good song. Oh, a yes. Kentucky song. Yes. Let's do it. Here they Don't are. Mess with Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Pat Haney along with Curtis Birch and Paul McCoy. It's the Gator 107.1. <laughs> Granddad, who was named for the side of a hill. He died howling at black number nine, and there's men there dying still. He taught me how to work real hard. He said it was good for your soul. Now I'm a working fool, and I'll die trying, but it won't be over no coal. It won't be over no coal, boys. It won't be over no coal. When I draw my dying breath, it won't be over no cold. brother and i guess i'll see him die he took a job at wolf creek mine and it made our mama cry he said he might could get me on but god knows i won't go i might farm these rocks and just starve to death but it won't be over no cold it won't be over no When I draw my dying breath, it won't be over no cold. my soul a lot of good just like granddaddy said my good woman knows when i'm gone she could bury me higher or low by a swift clean river sweet green field but it won't be over no cold 
It won't be over no cold, boys. It won't be over no cold. When I draw my dying breath, it won't be over no cold. When I draw my dying breath, it won't be over no cold. Wow, very nice. Love that song. Woo! Curtis Birch on the dope, yes. of course. We got Paul McCoy on the bass. <laughs> oh, man. We love having Curtis in here now. <laughs> You're welcome to come in anytime you Ask want. Ask him Curtis. what his secret is to looking so good. <laughs> <laughs> he says he tells everybody he's 80. <laughs> oh, no. Come on now. <laughs> I don't believe that at all. Hanging out with guys like this, they'll keep you young, that's for sure. <laughs> Pat Haney will keep you young. Now, uh, now, Pat, I mean, one of the great things about your music is, of course, the songwriting and uh, everything that goes into it. And well, it's great to have someone now. Your CD is uh, nationally distributed. So yeah, right, if you go into Walmart, you're going to see a Pat Haney CD, right? I don't know about Walmart. I don't, well. <laughs> it might be a little too rough for them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the but, censored uh, version. Yeah, I mean, you can go to Best Buys and... and uh, uh, Tower Records, you know, just all those places, you know, and find it all over the <laughs> all over the country, and uh, it came out. Oh, it's coming out the 12th, and uh, all over Europe. Wow, so, really? Yeah, that's insane. Uh, BMG's doing that deal over there, so uh, that's great. I mean, uh, do you kind of look at it as a way? Uh, I mean, I, you grew up here, you know, and without a doubt, have big time Kentucky roots. And through your music, is it kind of a way to, to bring the Kentucky culture to other people? Oh. Or is that too deep? <laughs> <laughs> well, just about anything's too deep for me. But, I mean, it's like, no, it, it uh, uh, you know, I never set out with any kind of goal, like, to educate anybody on uh, Kentucky culture. It may be some kind of, like, uh, oxymoron, educate somebody on Kentucky. <laughs> no, <laughs> uh, no I'm, just, I'm just playing. I really am because... Uh, uh, you know, I, I just write about uh, things that I understand, you know, right. and, uh, that I, you know, if people are into it, that's cool. Unfortunately, they have been. So uh, uh, <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, it's just I, I, I mean, that's the only way I know how to write a song. I, if it ends up sounding like uh, Steve Earle or John Prine or whoever, you know, it, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just I mean, that's the only way I know how to do it. Yeah, because that's. Uh, I mean, there's only so many stories to tell, and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, you, if you want to talk about love, you can talk about it, but, I mean, it's like, do it some way that's nobody's ever done it before, you know. Mm -hmm. Just tell it differently. Right. And, uh, Kentucky's really fertile in terms of uh, uh, that kind of uh, storytelling and songwriting, you know. They, they take a uh, timeless theme, and uh, it's told so differently that you don't even know uh, that's actually where it, what it started out like, right. you know, so... Um, I'm fortunate to live where I live and, and to know a lot of people that are really creative. So Now now that you're kind of out, you know, going and seeing the country and everything, and I, obviously we know Pat is never going to change. He's always going to be, you know, yeah. a deep and rooted person, and that's what's so great about him. Yeah. But do you find yourself kind of maybe seeing more experiences now to write about that you didn't before? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's like, uh, I mean, basic human nature uh, doesn't change a whole lot, you know. So, I mean, you... you uh, uh, you pick up different scenes and different stories, uh, you know, from wherever you are. Uh, I can only write about it from my perspective in terms of what I have grown up knowing right. and uh, and what I understand. So if I see, you know, some little surfer dude out in California <laughs> having a hard time, it I come back and write about it. You know, yeah. it's still a human condition, but it always ends up sounding like some. Uh, mountain kid you know <laughs> or, 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 you know or somebody you know from around here because that's uh he's having a tough time with his woman and so is this person but you know it's like i just saw him and and uh so i mean it's all the same really is yeah. i guess my point uh i just know a couple of ways to really write about it uh, the only way i know you know so i think that's what you know people are really like about pat is just the deep writing and everything without a doubt now, uh, you ready to do another tune here before we go to break? Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, this is called Ghost of Things to Come. It was uh, well, just like we were talking about. You know, I was out in Montana, and I saw this baby crying in a gas station. And uh, I said, well, you know, I always wonder why nobody ever did a uh, country song about the ghost of things to come from the Charles Dickens classic, uh -huh. Christmas Carol. I mean, it's got country written all over it. Yeah. 
And uh, so this guy's driving across the country. He's leaving. And he sees uh, a baby crying. And he sees a angry young man. And and, and and all these things are ghosts of things to come. I mean, this could be his kid if he doesn't right. turn around. Or, or uh, and at the end, he sees himself. So we'll do that deep. one. Very Thank deep. You. Pat yes. Haney. Let's let him do it. And live from Studio B on the Gator 107.1. behind his tears He tried to tell me to hit on back but he was just too damn young He's a ghost of things to come But turn around Yeah man you gotta turn Turn around, turn around, turn around. I seen a kid, he was walking down the highway. But he had hatred in his stride. He watched until I passed him up. And then he stuck out his thumb He's a ghost Of things to come Turn around Yeah, man, you gotta turn around Turn around
man. Paul McCoy on bass. Grammy Award winner Curtis Birch on the Dobro. Great. We're going to take a break here. Real quick, coming back, got more stuff to ask. We still want to hear that Todd Osborne story about the Bulls. So, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Pat Haney is back on the Gator 1071's Live and Local. Mondays on A&D. In 60 seconds or less, a decision is made that could change someone's life forever. A series so real. For the lawyers, it's on-the-job training. It has real lawyers talking. 100 Center Street. 100 Center Street. 100 Center Street. Where every reckless act has its price. Has its price. 100 Center Street. Welcome back to Live and Local. Part two of Anthony's last evening. Yes. With live and local. Moving on to greener pastures. <laughs> or making the big bucks. Yes. Yeah, completely understandable. We're going to all that. We got a. Uh, real, real quick, I have to say thanks to everybody at WKYU PBS who sent me a card, a going away card. Oh, they gave you a cake, but I think Beavis ate it already. Don't! <laughs> Is Beavis so, still here? No, he went home. That's what the phones have been ringing. He went home? Yes. How can he just go home? Does he know he has a job? Uh, no, he has a real job. I should love it. Yeah, <laughs> she love it. We lost our fry guy. <laughs> well, Pat Haney is in studio. We are yes. very excited to have him back here. Uh, Curtis Birch, Dobro Grammy Award winner. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, Paul McCoy from the Well Rednecks. Yes. And uh, Pat Haney and the Well Rednecks will be tomorrow performing at the Phoenix Theater. Get on out there, Chestnut, right? It's on Chestnut. And uh, they've kind of revamped the whole place, made it look absolutely beautiful. And uh, now, how often uh, have you been able to get back into town, Pat, with all the touring? Do you get a chance to come back often? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like I've got a house here and a bunch of beagles. So, I mean, it's like I, <laughs> I am bills here. Yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I have to come back. But, uh, no, I, I'm never going to move from Bowling Green or, or I won't move far from it. I might move yeah. out in the county somewhere eventually. But, uh, uh, no, I mean, it's like, I, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm in pretty frequently, you know, uh, we go out for a couple of weeks, come back for a week, go out for a couple of weeks. Uh, right now, it's been kind of a downtime, uh, winter time. You know, we're just focusing on uh, riding. Yeah. And uh, going to get back up to spring, head back to Texas and out in California. We've got, uh, in April, we got some shows with uh, Merle Haggard and, and wow. uh, down in Texas. And uh, some stuff going on out in California I can't talk about really right now. But it's, <laughs> but it's, uh, but it's but I'm real excited about it. So, really? Yeah. Now, what kind of places, uh, when, you, when you go and travel around, what kind of places have, have you been playing at? Are they more clubs or are they more places like public theaters? Man, you name it. I mean, it's like uh, I've played at record stores, yep. uh, radio stations, uh, dance halls that you wouldn't believe. I mean, it, <laughs> the Cowboys in, in Dallas is about the size of Walmart, Super Walmart. It's unbelievable. <laughs> it's like really? you're up there on stage playing. They've got like a, a video screen. Uh, a four-sided video screen so everybody can see what's going on stage and it's right in your face and you're sitting there playing looking at yourself you know about eight times as big as <laughs> you really are <laughs> it's good for the ego right yes yeah <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it's real good, especially when there's, like, three people out there dancing. So uh, <laughs> that really helps you out. But that's where Todd rode the bull. See, Todd. Oh, okay. See, every time we go through a big city, he wants to go to a zoo so he can, like, uh, if they have, like, these petting zoos and everything. His big thing is, like, <laughs> just too old. They call it a fetish. <laughs> well, he's wanting to ride a giraffe. That's what, got oh. it all, that's what got it all started. And I was like, I don't know about that, you know. So, uh we go to Cowboys, you know, and they gave us free uh, mechanical bull rides. So uh, I've got some great photos of Todd on the mechanical bull. And then uh, we are coming back through uh, South Dakota, and uh, we stopped to get gas, and there was this liquor store next door. And uh, there was this giant um, jackalope with a saddle on it. And, uh, <laughs> and the liquor store, there was a big sign that says, uh, Liquor and Free Continental Breakfast. And uh, <laughs> so we've got a picture yes. of Todd on the uh, on the jackalope, <laughs> riding it like it's a bull. So every time we find some kind of like ceramic or uh. some kind of uh, fiberglass animal, we get a picture of Todd on it. <laughs> so so far he's ridden a dolphin and uh, and a jackalope and a bull. And uh, there's actually uh, we we have we have found him a horse. Uh, 
out at uh, State Street Pub. We're going to get a picture on him next. So. Nice. Anytime we can find something, you know, Ty can get on him. Yeah. That's great. Tend to ride, we do that. Wow. I, I look it's at Todd in a whole <laughs> yeah. different light now. <laughs> yeah. Wants to ride a giraffe. That's about the weirdest <laughs> fantasy I think I've ever heard. Oh, man. The Seattle Zoo <laughs> like to kill him. Oh, if he'd have been here tonight, he could have rode our in-house animal Beavis. <laughs> you know, I've never met that fellow Beavis. You've never met really? Beavis? Uh, you didn't I see mean, the guy walking around in the front I house. saw him, but I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know who he was. I should have figured that's who it was. Oh, no. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. You know what? We're going to take... Let's take a little break here and figure out what's going on. <laughs> we may be going off the air. Who knows? We'll take a quick break. We'll figure it out. We'll fix it back. Are you smart enough to play History IQ? History fans, here's your challenge. <laughs> Who was the very first U.S. Vice President? Test your History IQ. Where was the game of basketball invented? Ooh. Who became public enemy number one after John Dillinger? Who will be our next winner? And go to HistoryChannel.com to play along. History IQ, weeknights at 7.30, only on the History Channel. You gotta love it when the Woo! tower goes down. Remote starts. Hopefully, we didn't kill any more birds or yeah, some birds. Any probably. nesting critters in the uh, antenna way out there? There's probably some fried chicken right now. <laughs> in the transmitter. Uh, hey, you know, there's some starving people in the world. They could go over and pick some up. <laughs> Where were we? Where were we? Pat Haney. Pat oh, no. Haney. I thought See? the FCC got me. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'd get us first. Don't worry. You got to wait in line, Pat. Especially here with us here. <laughs> now, let's have let's have you uh, do another tune here. What's, uh, which tune you want to do now? Well, this is a new one. Uh, I'm just gonna do this solo. It's uh, uh, I used on my way to work uh, down to the gas station about three houses down every Monday. There's this old dude that used to mow his uh, grass on a riding line mower, but he had a Every time he'd mow, he'd had this uh, World War II helmet on. And uh, <laughs> I was like, that's going to be me, you know. <laughs> I'm at war with my grass. But he must have either hated his grass or was just scared he was going to fall off the, <laughs> the lawnmower and crack his head. <laughs> but uh, my mom used to work in the nursing homes. Oh, that's and, a and good stuff, song. And, uh, and uh, so far, I just call it the nursing home song. Good song. I don't want to see the sun go down Cause that's when you make your rounds You look at me lying here like that's all I ever did And you treat me like a kid And I don't need to see you roll your eyes we both got better ways to spend our lives. If I could move, I'd be gone just like the wind. And you'd never see me again. Cause I farmed 83 acres with a plow and a mule. I got three grown kids that went to school. I sent 18 men to meet the Lord in 1943. And I had friends who loved me. Well, all I want to do is close my eyes and dream my darling back by my side and make love to her in spite of all the years And wallow in the tears Well sometimes there ain't nobody listening And I can't believe it's been this long Well just give me one good reason Cause it's all wrong With a plow and a mule I got three grown kids That went to school I sent 18 men To meet the Lord In 
1943 And I had friends I sent 18 men to meet the Lord in 1943 And I had friends who loved me See him tomorrow night at the Phoenix Theater. Well, John King from Six Four likes that song. I remember that yeah. from out of Syracuse. Oh yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> a good song. I like that. That is, it really is. Uh, Wrong Rite of Passage is the name of CD, and you can pick it up all over now. I mean, like we said, Best Buy, Tower Records, places like that. And uh, Pat, have you have you kind of have you touched into the internet scene yet? Hang on, two. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, Pat uh, is a very cool guy, you know. You know, Pat's very cool. Yes. All right. Yeah. All right, there we go. <laughs> yes. He's, uh, gotta kill that time. Get on the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> you know what they say to people who chew ice? I don't know what he's nah, talking I don't about. Know either. Oh, it's one of those. I don't know how you it's my last year. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> now, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> have, uh, have, you, have you had a chance or uh, had any desire to kind of dive into the internet, or have you? Been uh, maybe even forced to like get up a Pat Haney website yeah, or anything. It's, it's coming along. We got people working on it and stuff. I mean, it's like you can, uh, uh, if you like, I think it's www.freefallsentertainment.com. Uh, www.freefalls.com. Okay, yeah, www.freefalls.com. You can uh, link to some kind of page of mine, uh, which will eventually link to my website. We got people working on one right now, so. Uh, I know it's important, but uh, I mean, it's like I don't, uh, you know. I mean, it's like I don't, I don't know even how to turn one on, right, or anything. But uh, but I do know it's important. We got people working on that, and uh, we're going to have one up before too long. So I don't know how, you know, hard it is to make one or or what. So, but it's coming along. I, at least that's what they tell me. <laughs> <laughs> now, with the, with all the, you know everything that's going on, and obviously people starting to write. Uh, about about the CD and really getting some great reports. Have you noticed any sort of change? I mean, maybe a, from the people around here or change towards you, good or bad? Well, uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like people think I've moved. You know, they think I live in Texas now or, mm -hmm. or live in California, which uh, which I don't. You know, I'm just there a lot. You know, so everybody thinks I've, you know, I've gotten letters in the mail saying we're going to miss you and all that kind of yeah. stuff. And, and uh it's like, you know, I'm not gone. Without <laughs> uh, traveling around, you know, I'll be back. So, uh, But it's all been real, real nice, you know. I mean, it's like a town like Bowling Green, things kind of get around. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, well, you'd be pumping gas, you know, and somebody say, hey, you know, I uh, heard you on the radio or, or uh, uh, got your CD and, and uh, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's, it's really, really nice, you know. And that's why I live here, yeah. you know, because of stuff like that, so. Oh, it is. It really is. You know, I mean, you you don't understand it unless you know you're around this area. It is. Maybe sometimes <laughs> bad stuff gets spread around real fast too. But no, in the most part, you know, it really is, and people are very supportive of of local music. And you know, yeah, you've had a lot to do with it. You've been, you know, without a doubt, one of the people that's been pushing it for a long time. Well, it's been real nice. You know, I mean, it's uh, uh, very fortunate to uh, you know have people that, i mean we have just enough people to make it go you know right I mean, it's like uh there could be a he uh, heck of a lot more say i didn't cuss i almost <laughs> <laughs> there could be a heck of a lot more uh people involved and uh because uh, there's just an amazing amount of talent around here it, it's uh um you know i go out and listen to people uh, when i'm in town it's just amazing it blows my mind it's like man don't you know if you like were playing Texas or, you know, California, they just eat you up. You know? Really? Have yeah. you found that? Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's uh, really surprising. Wow. It is, uh, I was shocked, you know. It's like they knew who I was before I even got there and never had been there before in my life. Wow. So, it, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, 
it's a real good scene out there. There, mm -hmm. there. I mean, there are people out there that actually listen to music. So, so is it is it harder around this area? I mean, why, why do you think that is? That, uh, I don't know that it's harder. I, I just don't know that. Uh, uh, I mean, you have a lot. I mean, these are big, big cities, you know. Right. So, I mean, the uh, probability of having a uh, a culture uh, built around local music and, and into local music is so much more higher than it is around here. I'm not saying that people, people are very much into local music around here, but yeah. it's like, I mean, I can take you to a porch right now where there's somebody burning up a banjo that's like probably the best that's ever been. Really? You know, the best you've ever seen. Uh, uh, Curtis is an example of that right here. He's sitting next to me. I mean, this man's unreal. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and, without uh, a doubt. I mean, the music is here, and, and people... Uh, I enjoy the music um, in more of a uh, seclusive kind of way, you know. I mean, it's like a, it's a, it's a little secret to them, you know. It's like we all hang out now. We know where to go, don't we, Curtis? I mean, it's like, yeah, I mean, we can go right now and show you some people that uh, are worthy of uh, uh, more attention than, than some of the people you're hearing on the radio, you know. So yeah. it's just their choice, you know. A lot of people don't choose to uh, uh, exploit their music or get out and do things uh, with their music. They're perfectly happy uh, having jam sessions with uh, ace pickers or, or great songwriters and leaving it uh, at the front door, you know. I, I definitely think that's one of the things that's uh, attracted me to local music around here so much is that, yeah, everyone is, just seems so grounded, you know, and everyone helps each other out. And even, the, you know, the most talented people just, you know, are here to support it and support each other. And you know, egos never seem to get in the way, and it really does. And even with, you know, someone like Pat, who's got a CD, who, you know, is blowing up right now and, you know, has had a lot of success, you know, he comes back and is the same Pat Haney as always was, as was sat here with us the first time we did this show, and it really does, you know, it does mean a lot to us. Well, I sure appreciate it. It means a great deal to me, too. Now, uh, let's uh, let's get one more tune in here before we got to close out the show. I know we've ran way late already. All right, well, what do you guys want to do? We don't even know what we're going to do. Let's do I Should Have Danced With You. Good song. All right. This one's my favorite. <laughs> I still stay up late at night And I still think that you're coming back somehow But then I know that can't be right It's times like these I begin to say well, Girl, I should have danced with you should have danced with you and done anything you want me to. Maybe now I would be split. Well, I should have danced with you. I should have cut a rug and maybe given you a hug. It's a deep old hole I dug. Well, I should have danced with you. I should have danced with you. Pat Haney. Wow. Pat Haney. Curtis Birch on the Dobro. Paul McCoy on the bass. Thank Not you guys. I was born at work. Very much. <laughs> we appreciate you guys yes. coming in. We really do. Uh, real quick. Wow. Anthony. Well, brother. Show. Yes, it's the last one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it is for you, man. I got to say thanks to some people, if that's okay. Yeah, dude, go ahead. I got to say thanks to um, all the bands. And no way I can name them all. Just some of them. Dry Lead Fish, Gear, Jalam, uh, Pat Haney, The Well Rednecks, Trucker. Oh, gosh, the list goes on and on and on. I can't even start to name all the bands, so I'm not even going to leave any of them out. So, you know, all the bands out there who... Uh, have really helped us out and helped me out and uh, became, you know, really close friends of ours. Uh, I got to give it up and big thanks to uh, Brian Locke for uh, not only putting forth the faith to uh, get this show off the ground, but putting on, showing a lot of support and uh, faith in me, too. And uh, 
like I said, it's big thanks to everybody. I said it's a, this is a tough decision, and it's going to be something that I'm going to miss. And this is, you know, like I said, I'm not going too far. I'm still going to be out. But uh, yeah. more than anything, I got to say, you know, like Dylan, big props to Dylan who's came in here and, and helped us out a lot. And he, you know, he's going to be stepping in and filling in. Dead Cat, you know, all the other people. But Drew, most of all, brother, thank you, man. You're my best friend. Thank You're you. You're my partner. And uh, like I said, good luck to you, man. And, and I got your back. Well, I mean, I just like to take the opportunity, obviously. You know, we worked our tails off. And for people who don't know, Anthony has done everything possible to get this show off the ground. There's no way it could be done without you. And the love that you have for this show is, I mean, got to be killer to walk away from it. Yeah. And, you know, I, I really admire you for doing it. And obviously it's a big career move for you. And I wish you all the best. But, man, could never do it without you. And you are going to be so missed. Thank you, brother. Thank you. I know the pain that you're feeling I see the tears in your eyes I know it takes living and learning But sometimes it's harder to say